Hey YouTube, Brian here. Uh, just a little tutorial on an unusual plant in the collection. Uh, here we've got uh, Dioscoria elephantipes, an interesting codex forming deciduous vine from South Africa. You can see it's uh, not much to look at at this point. This is roughly a two-year-old seedling. Uh, it's got a nice caudex forming here. You can see this nice corky piece. That is going to get quite large. Over time, they can become feet across and feet tall just in the caudex, and they get fantastic patterning in the corky shell that's on the outside. Um, what I find interesting about them is for most of the year, they look just like that, a little lump of, of corky bark or, or wood. And then for a few months a year, they grow. And you can actually see here, there's a new growth just starting. We've got some nice green growth coming. That is going to turn into a nice <laughs> big vine with lovely big broad green leaves. Um, these will also flower with little yellow green flowers. Um, each plant is separately male or female. What's interesting with these is they come from such a dry area that when they're not in growth, here where I am in Victoria, we give them no water whatsoever. They don't want a single drop while they're dormant. Um, if you live in a very dry, deserty area without the humidity, they may need a sprinkle of water here and there, but otherwise completely dry until they're growing. What I'll do is now that it's starting to grow, I've got signs of life from it again, I will uh, put a little bit of water around the outside edge of the pot with a spray bottle. And after I've done that once or twice, I'll give it a good soak. When they're in active growth, they actually like quite a bit of water. I uh, had a bit of trouble with them last year. I didn't give them enough water when they were growing and the vines were a little stunted and the leaves were a little smaller than they should have been. But when they're growing, we can give them a good amount of water and as soon as they show signs of reducing their growth and yellowing off, we cut it off again and let them go dormant. Um, I'd like to give a nice little shout out to the Victoria Cactus and Succulent Society here in town. Um, they've been fantastic in helping me find some of these unusual plants and also giving me fantastic cultural advice on how to grow them. A great little group if you get a chance to join them.